Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and today I'm going to tell you how to use the ceilings formula in Excel. Now as ceilings suggest, we are going to reach the ceiling of the house itself, right? <laughs> or the class? <laughs> no. Well, uh, uh, ceiling formula refers to actually raising the number to a specific limit based upon a formula. Uh, for example, let's take this example. Uh, we have Superman, He-Man and Magneto going on holidays and Superman is going for three days. He-Man is going for eight days and Magneto is going for 20 days. Now they are going to an hotel which is owned by me and obviously I would have certain conditions built in that <laughs> no matter how, ma how many days you stay, you would be built at least for seven days and in cumulative from there on. Like if you stay for less than seven days, you will be built for seven days. If you stay for less than 14 days, you will be built for 14 days, right? So you will be built at least for a week if you stay less than a week and you will be built for at least for two weeks if you stay less than or equal to two weeks, right? So that's what I want to do in this formula. And this formula is very much used in MBAs and professional exams and interviews also. So let's start. Hotel is mine. Here comes Superman for three days. Okay, Baba. No problem. We'll give him a room for three days. Now we'll put in the formula ceiling and it's what's highlighted number. So we'll choose this number. These are the number of days that Superman is going to stay three days. And now significance is seven. This is what is most important. So I want the billing to be done at least for seven days or in multiples of seven from there off. Now I will copy this formula, do a control C, press the shift button and use the down arrow key and copy the formula. See, He-Man was here for 8 days and we have built him for 14 days. Nobody can challenge me, Baba. <laughs> now come Magneto. So he stays for 20 days and he was built for 21 days. See, let, let's change it to 6 days. It becomes 7 Let's change it to 45 days. This becomes 49. Let's change it to 61 days. It becomes 63. See? And what about 70 itself? 70 only. See, I'm not overcharging. My hotel is very, very honest. Come across anytime. <laughs> right. Now, there's another example over here. Uh, I've showed another variation. Uh, see, these are the items to be moved. Bricks, wood, cement. And again, these have to be moved to my hotel. And the units are 1,000, 5,000, 2,000 respectively for these things. And the truck capacity that is there is 300 for wood, bricks, and 600 units for wood, and 350 units for cement. So, what are we going to do? We want to find out how many trucks would be utilized, right? So how do we do that is equal to number of units to be moved by divided by the quantity of the by the capacity of the trucks, which gives 3.33 trucks for bricks and wood is 8.33 and cement is 5.77, 5.71. Now, no matter how good I am, I cannot simply get 3.33 of a truck or 8.33 of a truck or 5.7 of a truck. I would either get five trucks or six trucks, right? So how do I do this? Calculate exactly how many trucks do I require? So I'll again use the ceilings formula. Now this time, the importance is over here in the previous example, we were choosing a specific number, right? Now we are going to build in a function over here. The number would be units to be moved divided by truck capacity comma here comes the significance i want them in multiples of one right so i'll type in one enter see so very good all right well this uh, uh this file that you're looking at in this video is available for free download on my website mylesson.org go there watch the videos keep on watching them and uh, sometimes share the videos also right huh that can be done so until the next video this is your guru signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead Take care. Bye-bye.